There's the thing about your movie, why I made a curator's pick of the Hollywood French movie. Community, unity, 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 un
That's that is sewn into our program. Sure. And you and this gentleman make it all the better. So blessings to everybody that's sitting to my right and to my left. We welcome the community for the 23rd Annual mm. Performing and Visual Arts Camp for Kids Final Musical Production. This programming is facilitated and made possible by many community sponsors. First and foremost, I want to thank Nevada Energy, Frank Hawkins, Community Support, and then the City of Las Vegas, the West Las Vegas Arts Center, and the Las Vegas Clark County Library District, and the West Las Vegas Library Theater. We are having four performances. The first performance is at the Smith Center on the 27th. Note all these performances are free and open to the public. However, you must have a ticket for the performance at the Smith Center. We seek to fill the house. Definitely. Our vision is that the house will be filled. And we do every year. Tickets for the Smith Center are available starting tomorrow, July 20th. Visit the Smith Center's website or call them, reserve your ticket, two tickets per adult individual over 21 years of age, can call in and get a secure ticket, or you can go to the box office at the Smith Center and secure a ticket, or you can have your tickets to be picked up at will call. That's for the Smith Center performance, July 27th at 7.30 p.m. There are three other performances. Clark County, July 31st at 2 p.m. West Charleston Heights Cultural Center, August 1st at 2 p.m. And then we bring it home to where it first started, mm -hmm. West Las Vegas Library Theater, the community place, mm -hmm. August 3rd, 2 p.m. These last three performances, again, are free and open to the public and no ticket is required. I want to thank, first I should say what the name of the program is, hashtag viral. Mm -hmm. Original work by Shayla Williams. Direct, I'm sorry, Shayla Love, as she wants to be called. Written by Shayla Love and directed by Robert John Connor. Choreography by Stefan Reynolds. And Atito. Atito, what's your last name so I don't get it wrong? Goy. Goy? Yeah. Atito Goy. Mm -hmm. Spirit. Yes. This is about spirit. Everything we do is about spirit, and we choose positive spirit. Ashe, to Ashe. encourage Thanks, and impact our brothers and sisters. As I'm looking into the eyes of this young, beautiful man who we had the pleasure of working with his mother, and the blessing is that we get to see him and see mm. his mom through him. And each and every one of you. Justice, beautiful young lady. I don't think she realizes her beauty yet, but we see it. Mm -hmm. And we call her on it. CJ, we call him Teddy. A lot of energy. That's a dancer. That's a, a theater person, a technical person. Every hand, I got in the distance, Mr. Wayne Smith, photographing every moment brilliantly. I got Mr. Daniel. Everything brilliantly. And Franklin, thank you for your time and oh. giving us always a community of voice. For sure. Come on out, support. You will find yourself in this work. Mm -hmm. And you will share this work with us. We need your support. This, this program was burst out of these two sacred spaces mm -hmm. by and for the community. Facts. And we're giving it back to the community. Facts. So come on out, thank you for your time, which is precious, which we can't not get back, but we are making time to give back to the community. The jewels give it to us. Ashe, that's all I got to say. Miss Marsha asked me to come over and I must obey <laughs> and respect. There you go. Ashe. The visionaries that make this happen.
There we go. We're at the Arch Center here in West Las Vegas Arch Center. That is be succinct. We're going to bring the drummers over because all the energy, we got to get something from them. Let them introduce themselves, tell you where they're from and how this music, this traditional music, I call it traditional music because there you go. He already feel it. Come on over here. Let's dialogue with you. Yes. What's up, man? I'm good. And you? Yeah. Oh, all right. I just want to say hello to all your listeners. Um, today is a good day for us and uh, we are at West Las Vegas uh, Art Center and... Um, uh, it's part of the annual uh, PVAC program for young people, and uh, we are instructors in the music department, and uh, we do a lot of stuff, teach the kids and all those, and then we have uh, our lead instructor, who is uh, Mr. Tito. He will speak later, yeah, but yeah. I have to speak for myself, and then uh, uh, we all contribute to make sure everything is a uh, whole, because we have to lead by example. Right, right. So we learn much from the kids as they are learning from us too. So we feel privileged to have such a big radio station, uh, 88.9. One. Yeah, 88.9, 88.1. Come around. And we feel so happy. And uh, we're hoping that uh, uh, listeners will come and support us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Wayne Smith. He had to give your government name out, so you're in trouble. But how long, how, what grade are you in? I'm going to six. And you? I'm going to the eighth grade. And you? I'm going to six. Sixth grade. You had to put cameras in your hand through the whole program and let you take pictures. How important is that? Do you like it? Yeah. Do you enjoy it? Did you ever take pictures before? Anybody? I haven't taken pictures in a long time. Okay. And you, ma'am? No. Never. Never? Well, you got, you got, now you're getting the gift of learning how to take a photo and to show people off. But I think my saxophone man is ready. He's standing in the wings. If he's ready, y'all you know how to play? Anybody know how to play the sax? No. And it's a gift. Watch this tool. This is, a, this is one of the gifts of life when you learn how to, you know, make music. But this is what happens over here. It's all love and spirit. Get your children involved next summer. It's the Performing Arts Visual Program. There's something here for you. Brother Muhammad, if you could, I see you got the sax. If you can hit it, we're we we just going to move the mic out of the way and just let you go ahead and hit it. We're over here at the West Las Vegas a Library Theater as part of the summer program for our youth. Brother Muhammad participated. Let's see what you got. Performing Arts Program. One of the at the helm, 
one of the folks that you gotta say is putting it down because while the youth may not know, we know. Uh, while we don't know where he goes and what happens, when you have talent that's willing to share and give back to the community, as in the form of the icon that's sitting right here next to me, I'm gonna tell you, this brother meant something to me, he still does, because the images that he created put my, my life in front of me on TV and on film. I'm not gonna tell you how many films he's been in and how many things he's done. I'm just gonna tell you, he already has a day here in Las Vegas. That's right. We have an Antonio Fargas day. They may not have other things, but we got Antonio Fargas day historically bound in history forever as part of our Pemmet in the Desert series. I know the man's work. Thank you so much for making time to, to vote with our youth in the Summer Arts Program. Mr. Antonio Fargas, thank you so much. How are you doing, Icon? I'm doing great. Uh, you know, I humbly accept those, uh, those titles and uh, you know, to be here in the village, at the center, and, and in the library, theater, you know, the home of the Performing and Visual Arts Camp uh, for all these years, and uh, it's just so special. I mean, I think this is my 10th or 11th year wow. of, uh, of being a part of this, and, and the uh, whole idea of not knowing who you're sitting next to is an important part of teaching, mm. and so, uh, if you have a history, I spent over 59 years and to end up here at the, in, in Las Vegas and be a part of this special, special art center and this program, um, I'm just so honored that, uh, that that happened for me. Well, we're honored to have your presence because of the things that you know and that you can inculcate into these children about the, all they see is the glitz and the glamour. You did the work. You hung around for a while and you're still in the community. So again, we thank you for that because for the parents who don't know that their child will be taught or educated in cocaine, whatever it is, it's spurred creatively by Mr. Fargus. If that ain't enough to bring your child down here rather than sitting around, you, you, something wrong with you. Well, but tell us how important <laughs> it is to, for you to give back to the community. Well, I, I want them to to uh, to be drawn to this light in the community because it's a beacon. Because um, it drew me, and and for me, uh, I get so much out of being able to share my experience with these young people. We say I, I probably need them more than they need me. And if that kind of exchange happens, then it's a, it's a wonderful experience for, for both. Well, I know you're working on the production. We appreciate your time. As I said, he's working with the kids. That's, that, <laughs> I can't put a price on that. I can't put any more words on that. He's working with our children, working with our youth. I know your production's coming up in two weeks. We appreciate you breaking away from it. I see Daniel in the wings. I, I know you got work to do. <laughs> got to get back in the theater. I know that. So let's, let's thank you so much for making time. And again, I look forward to always sitting down with you because the images that you created last forever, and it gave somebody, a child, a child from a young, oppressed community, an opportunity to say, I could be like that. I think we're both in the same place. Oh, man, that's all right, man. I know you're from 125th Street <laughs> around the way. Again, the icon, Mr. Antonio Fargus. Thank you so much. God bless you. All thank right, you. thank you, sir. Daniel, come here, man. You take all these pictures. You work with all these kids. As you saw, the dancers was walking through. They got so many so many stuff going through. Look at them over there smiling. They're they, they part of the production staff. Daniel's here. He's been working with this program for about capturing you know, film. He works with us in the Desert in the Kemet series. He does all the, a lot of the photography here in the city. So thank you, thank you for attending. How long you been with this program? I've been well, with first, I'll tell them who you are. Your whole name. <laughs> My uh, whole name is Daniel Thompson. I've been in Las Vegas for 35 years now, and I've been working with this program for the last three years. Wow! And you just give him a camera and tell him what to do. Give him a camera and let him go at it. Man, and he does the video end of it. So, that's, what other aspects of the program here? Because you've been here for a minute. What else do you know that they cover? Uh, they cover all the little special events that they go to, going to different uh, performances, taking pictures, trying to teach them how to take video, so and teach them how to edit. Those are things that these kids are working on. They're doing a good job doing a little music for themselves. So they're doing a good job, though. All right, well, that's great. I see the cameraman over there. He's going to take a spot if we can get him to take a picture. Come over here, Mr. King, because you've already been announced. And uh, these are two of the people who are behind the scenes. There's so many programs here. I'm going to ask one of y'all to go grab somebody else who wants to talk real quick. If you want to talk? You want to talk? Oh, so the photographer wants to talk. Let's hear from the boss first. If there are any of the uh, dancers or anybody fooling around that we can possibly talk. Come on, have a seat, Mr. King. We're going to call him Mr. King because he got a tie on, y'all. He's serious. I'm going to ask you to hold that mic, and I'll hold this one. Good we, morning. Can all, we can all hear it. How long have you been with this program and what do you do? Well, I uh, am working with uh, summer camp, teaching the kids uh, photography. Um, I also uh, volunteer on Saturdays, teaching kids how to play competitive chess and uh, just having a great time doing it. I'm also a mentor, 
uh, for the young women and men here. And uh, just, as I said before, having a really wonderful time uh, sharing and giving back. We got the director right here. We're going to bring him over if he will just come sit down with us for a second. Because uh, as we look at the clock, we're going to run out of here. But the director is the one who brings all of these talents together. Everybody has something to say, everybody has something to do. The person who makes it look good doesn't always often get the credit. But the bottom line is when you're ready to work with our youth, we want to hear from you. And I know this ain't your first go around working with folks. So again, tell us who you are, what you do, and uh, thanks again for making time for the Las Vegas Communities Like It Is Radio. Mr. Director, how you living, sir? Good, good. Uh, who am I? I don't know my name. No, my <laughs> name is Robert John Connor. And I'm a professional director and producer based in Atlanta, but I used to live here uh, uh, for about seven years and um, made acquaintance with the Art Center around 2007 and worked with their summer camp. And uh, so since then, periodically, they've invited me out to come work with the kids and kind of help create a culminating performance at the end of their summer and uh, take it to the Smith Center. So it could be on a platform that really is appropriate for the type of work that's done here in West Las Vegas. And also this performance that we're doing will be at three other theaters, mm -hmm. uh, Charleston Heights Performing Arts Center, the Flamingo, and uh, where's the other one? Right here, Swiss. Right here. Right here. Right here. Um, so yeah, it's been a pleasure uh, to kind of work with uh, these young budding artists and uh, with this team of uh, professional artists and kind of creating this show. Well, could you tell us just a little bit from your perspective? I mean, what is the show about? And we heard hashtag viral. That affects some folks, but other folks, they thinking, what, what? Well, uh, yeah, the thing about the show is that it's about how social media has kind of consumed our kids especially but us in general that our self-worth and our self-awareness is defined based on how we present ourselves through this medium and we're losing the one-on-one -on -one connections and the conversations and the relationships with people and so we're basing our self-worth on what outsiders who really don't know us feel about us mm -hmm. and it's having such a negative uh, impact on our community and so hopefully this journey in this story there's somebody who kind of infiltrates the system and starts sending messages to the people about the secrets that they have mm. and how these secrets could ultimately um, ruin the life that these kids have created online wow and so it's a um, it's a who done it it's a uh, it discusses some issues that affect us as a community and as a, and a young people especially. And it's fun and it's entertaining, but it's also serious and it, it's heartbreaking and heartwarming all together. So it's a great story. It is, and we do appreciate your time. I know you're directing. I just caught you walking through. I see some of the other folks are coming out here. So okay. again, thank you for your time, you're your welcome. energy. And again, this is happening in Las Vegas. All these events are free. We're talking about it. This upcoming at the Smith Center here at the West Las Vegas Library, at the West Charleston Library. Just connect with Like It Is Radio. Thank you so much, Mr. Right. Director. Thank you. Coming in, making your time. I know you're giving up Atlanta. We ain't got no humidity, but we got heat. I, I, I'll take humidity over this heat any day. <laughs> thank you so much. And we look, I got, a, I got a young person here. She's been around for a while. One of my favorites in here. If, if your child has talent, and you, and you want your child, the talent to flourish, and to, you got to put them around people who aren't afraid to share their talents. This lady has been doing it for a very long time, even though she may be very young. She's been doing it for a long time. And some of y'all may not know, but if you come out to the Smith Center, you see a little bundle of energy running around, making things happen. It's because she's been trained, not just here, but trained for the big stage. And this is the biggest stage of all, life. So tell us who you are, and I know who you are, but I know some people want to hear your voice. Good morning, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing fine. Which, I don't know which mic. We'll take either one. We got three or four. I'll do this one. All right. Okay, but hi, my name is Tashi Thomas. And yeah, I'm, I've been a part of PVAC for about five to six years now. Um, this is my second year as an intern, and so I'm glad to come here and show my love mm -hmm. for theater and arts in general. Wow, and tell us some of your production credentials. Oh, okay, so um, I've mm -hmm, played mm -hmm. Young Nala in The Lion King on Broadway. 
at the age of 10. I was there for a year and a half in New York. Uh, as well, I, has a, I have a show coming out uh, on OWN Network of August 14th. It's Congrats. called David Makes Man. Thank you. Congrats. And yes, I'm so excited for that. And I'll also be on Disney Channel for Raven's Home. I've been in like three episodes, so you can catch those in the next few weeks as well. So. Starbound talent, y'all, right here at the Las Vegas PV, P, was it P, PVA. I keep, PVA. I keep saying PVC. <laughs> PVA. Yes. And uh, this is what we do over here. You can get your child involved. And I mean, the opportunity to work with people like the young lady and, that you just heard from, Antonio Fargas, you just heard from, the drummers that you've been hearing in the background, they can learn how to take pictures. Oh, we got all kinds of stuff on my dry throat. I guess it's coming through on the radio. <laughs> but we got some other folks here. So we're getting ready to close out on time. But who are you and what have you been doing here? She's dressed up like a producer. What you do here? Uh, my name is Moya Angela. Oh, they give you no I'm the um, vocal instructor and the acting instructor for the students here at PVAC. I'm also an award-winning actress, Broadway actress, and a very avid uh, philanthropist here in the Las Vegas community. Oh, philanthropist. She threw that money in there. What's your name again? Moya. <laughs> <laughs> you put that part last. And you got a company with you who's been running around doing all kinds of stuff. What do you do here? So my name is Kiana McNutt. I'm the stage manager for this year for PVAC, and I've been with the camp since the age of seven, so I've been here for about 12 years. Wow, wow. Can you believe all this is happening right here in our community? As I said, the gem of the community, the West Las Vegas Arts Center, the West Las Vegas Library Theater, they put it all together for you. Come check them out. We're going to get them out of here because all of the energy that you just heard today is for you and it's for free.
This is another great episode of the film review. Here's the thing about your movie, why I made a curator's pick of the Hollywood French film. Community, unity, unity, heart, 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 it's like, it's like, crazy, easy, easy.